in this video here I'll take you through the steps so you can communicate with the Ultifile process drive using SoMove software. Um, we'll be using the embedded Ethernet communication which is Modbus TCP IP. So the first thing we need to do is set up our VSD and we do this from the front HMI. So we press the home button and we scroll down to communication and press OK and press OK again and then select embedded Ethernet. From here we change IP mode from DHCP to fixed and we want to give it a static IP address and in this example we'll use 192.168.110 So once you've done that you press OK and we also need to give it a subnet mask address and that needs to be 255 255 255 0 so you press OK to that as well. Now we need to cycle the power now for the, the address to take effect so you just turn the power off and then you wait a couple of seconds and then turn the power back on again. And when it's ready we check that our address has taken effect so we go back to communication press OK and then embedded Ethernet and as you can see it's taken effect. So that's the VSD side done. We now need to set up the PC with a static IP address. And we do that by pressing the start button, going to control panel, and then selecting network and sharing center. You then need to look for local area connection. If it's not there, you've either not connected the uh, cable correctly or the BSDs off. So just make sure those two things are done and you should see the option there. And you click on it and then you select properties and then we need to select internet protocol version 4. So you double click on that and we give our PC a static IP address. Now it needs to be similar to the drive except we cannot give it the same number in the last field. So we will give our PC an address of 192.168.1.1 and again the subnet mask needs to be 255.255.255.0. You press OK to that, OK again, and close that. And now we open SoMove and we need to edit our connection. So now we're telling SoMove how we want to communicate with our drive and it is Modbus TCP which is Modbus over Ethernet. So make sure that's selected and then press advanced settings then select the scan tab. Now the target network is the address of our drive which as we know is 192.168.1.10 so we enter that in here we also need to enter the value in the last field in this entry here and we apply that and press OK we then scan the network and SoMove has found our device on the network. We can double click on that and a warning will appear. We tick the box and press OK and now all of the parameters from our drive are being uploaded to SoMove. And as you can see device synchronized. So the only parameters we 
change now take effect uh, straight away on the drive We can then disconnect from the drive and we can save this configuration. We can also make changes offline. And then reconnect. If we want to push the offline parameters onto the VSD, we select store to device and connect. If we want to upload the parameters from the drive to so move, we select load from device and connect. But in our example, we've made a change to a parameter that we would like to put onto the drive. So we store to device and connect. And as you can see, the device is synchronized and our parameter has changed. There are some other features in SoMove that we'll discuss in uh, other videos. We'll be showing how to set up a simple PID control and how to use the scope. So once you've finished with SoMove, you'll probably want to uh, revert your IP address settings on your PC and we do that by going back to the start menu selecting control panel going to network and sharing center selecting local area connection again properties again internet protocol version 4 Double click on that and put it back to the old setting of obtain an IP address automatically. And you press OK, OK, and close that. And that's it. 